Can we really live forever? The future of anti-aging tech, 2025 to 2050 predictions. Imagine waking up in 2050. You still look 30, you're 70. You run a business, climb mountains, and your biological age, just 35. Sounds like science fiction. It's not. We're on the edge of a longevity revolution, from cellular reprogramming to AI-designed gene therapies. Anti-aging tech is no longer about creams and collagen. It's about rewriting how we age. So can we really live forever? Maybe not yet, but what if we could live healthy and young for 150 years? Let's dive into the future of anti-aging technology from the science of today to the possibilities of 2050. The biology of aging first. Let's understand why we age. Biologically, aging is a buildup of cellular damage DNA breaks mitochondrial decline. Senescent cells, cells that stop dividing but don't die, telomere shortening the protective tips on our DNA. As these build up, our bodies slow down, wrinkles appear, muscles weaken, organs fail. But now, scientists are asking, what if aging isn't inevitable? What if it's just a disease we can treat? Welcome to the new world of longevity science, where we are now. As of 2025, We've made groundbreaking progress. One cells, those zombie cells that cause inflammation and disease. Two, CRISPR gene, editing. CRISPR is being used in trials to repair DNA mutations that accelerate aging. Imagine correcting aging at the root level. Three-point mRNA therapies. Inspired by COVID-19 vaccines, mRNA tech is now being explored to rejuvenate cells and activate repair mechanisms on demand. Fourth, biological age testing startups like Tally Health and Zymo offer at-home DNA kits that measure how fast you're aging and recommend interventions. Five, metformin and rapamycin. These drugs, originally for diabetes and cancer, are being tested as age-slowing treatments with promising early results. The next leap. By 2030, anti-aging won't just be for billionaires and biohackers, it will start to go mainstream personalized longevity plans. Using AI and wearables, doctors will build daily routines based on your real-time biology, not averages. Cellular reprogramming, Nobel Prize winning work on Yamanaka factors could help reset cells to a younger state. Think of it like system restore for your body. 3D printed organs. Need a new liver at 80? By 2030, we'll be printing organs in labs using your own stem cells fasting mimetics and longevity diets. Instead of starving, people will take pills that mimic the cellular benefits of fasting without skipping meals. And yes, people in their 60s may biologically function like they're 40. Longevity and AI 2040 predictions. By 2040, AI will be your anti-aging coach. Smart longevity implants. Wearables will evolve into biological assistants. Microchips in your bloodstream will monitor inflammation, detect cellular stress, and release real-time drug therapies. Brain preservation and neurolongevity companies like Neuralink will go beyond restoring movement. They'll help prevent cognitive decline, Alzheimer's, and possibly extend consciousness itself. Full Genome Repair AI will scan your full genome, identify risk markers, and rewrite faulty genes making inherited diseases a thing of the past. Anti-aging as a service corporations may offer monthly subscriptions to anti-aging treatments updated dynamically through your health data. Living past 100 will become the norm. Society in 2050, living long, living young. If trends continue by 2050, the average life expectancy in developed countries could surpass 110. Retirement could start at 85 not 65, intergenerational workforces will become standard age, will become a biological measurement, not a number. People might start saying, I'm biologically 32, even if they were born in 1990. Imagine 80 year olds running marathons, 100 year olds launching businesses, centenarians raising toddlers as parents again. Even the World Health Organization predicts that age related diseases could be delayed or eliminated entirely within our lifetime. But here's the twist, the ethical dilemma, should we live forever? 
As exciting as it sounds, not everyone's cheering. What happens when people stop dying? Do younger generations get fewer opportunities? What about overpopulatio, who controls the data and therapies? Futurist Yuval Noah Harari warns, the gap between rich and poor could become a gap between immortal and mortal. So the future of anti-aging isn't just medical, it's moral. Can we really live forever? Here's the truth. We're unlikely to become immortal cyborgs by 2050. But radically slowing aging, that's not science fiction anymore. It's happening. You might not live forever, but you could live long, stay young, and die late. The new goal isn't immortality. It's health span, lifespan, living more years with energy, clarity, and purpose. So ask yourself, are you aging or are you upgrading? Comment below. Would you want to live to 150? Why or why not? Like, if you're excited by what's coming, subscribe to Clever Coverage for more future-driven stories that decode the science behind tomorrow. Because the future of life might be longer than we think. We conduct detailed research to create this content, but it's difficult to completely describe the story in short video. For more details, reference links are given in description. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Your support means the world to us.